Hi besties, welcome back to another shitty horror movie review here on my channel. My name is Gigi and the movie I watched last night is called The Remains. You can watch it on Hulu and as always this video is not sponsored. Hulu does not know me. The folks that made this movie do not know me. And why would they? <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> so this movie is a supernatural horror movie. It was made in 2016 and was directed by Thomas Della Bella, which, dude, loving that name. It stars Brooke Butler as your typical, I'm about to turn 18, don't give a shit what my parents say, let me get high and let me get laid, teenage girl. Her sister is named Victoria and is played by Hannah Nordberg. I am reading that from here. Her dad is John and he's played by Todd Lowe. And he really reminds me, I don't know, he reminds me of another actor, and I don't know that actor's name. So, he's in so many things, though, and he plays a bad guy really good. Um, and then there's just a whole bunch of people. There's a realtor that's uh, played, I don't see her here. She really, the realtor is the one that gets me. Okay. Okay. The movie opens in, I don't know, like the 30s or 40s, something like that, 20s, wait, 20s maybe, when um, spiritualism was really big and they were doing those photos of the ectoplasm coming out of people's mouths. And there's this chick, her name's Madam Addison, and she's doing a reading for a couple who has lost their child that lost as in she's missing they don't know if she's dead they're here to find out where is our daughter the dad doesn't believe mom is like hush hush honey i need this so he's doing it to placate the mother but he absolutely doesn't believe something goes haywire he gets out of the circle so many things are are popping off at the same time and like lights and table rattling just pop here pop there right everything's going off at once and all of a sudden the spiritualist the madam she gets possessed by something and basically kills everyone in the house and flash to the future present day now and there's a family who has just lost their mother which is john Oh, I didn't tell you there's a little boy, too, uh, named Aiden. He's played by Dash Williams. You'll have seen him in a lot of stuff. As soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, that kid. Um, so, he, John is the dad. You got teenage Izzy, the uh, kid Aiden, and the, the sister uh, Victoria. I suck at names. Pretty sure I said that before totally second names so um they're looking for a house they buy this house as soon as i see the house i want the house it's a queen anne blue and white blue with white trim three stories huge attic gorgeous house it reminds me so much of san diego and i miss san diego so much i lived there for like a little over 15 years and I really want to go home um <laughs> let's make some youtube money so i can go home okay hit that subscribe button <laughs> um anyways so they move into the house instantly weird things start happening neighbors keep asking them like bro did you move into this house there's a neighbor her dad has been in the house the house gave him a stroke and now he's incapacitated um the realtor pretended she didn't know anything about the house clearly did and there is something that happens in the movie that is so small but it caught my attention so many times okay when you first meet the family dad's driving no glasses reading no glasses looking at street signs addresses papers packing unpacking talking to the kids making dinner or ordering dinner rather because nobody cooks in this at all ever um no glasses 
the little boy Aiden has a moment in his room where he sees somebody, calls for the dad, the dad gets up in the bed and puts on glasses, and not just any glasses. These are Harry Carey talking about the Cubs ass glasses. They are the biggest, blackest, horn rim glasses you've ever seen in your life. If they had had tape right here, it wouldn't have surprised me. They were hideous, they didn't suit him, and only like three or four times in the whole movie was he wearing glasses, and every other time he could see just fine. No mention of I need my glasses, no mention of I can't see because I don't have my glasses, just every once in a while they'd whip those bad boys out and have them throw them on. What? It was crazy. I swear to God, I almost got some tequila down from the cabinet so I could do a, a drinking game about it because it totally kept pulling me out of the movie. Okay, so I don't want to tell you absolutely everything about the movie because like I said, it's not scary and yet still I somewhat enjoyed it. Um, the ending is really weak. The story is not well thought out. There's not a lot of details. Nothing's ever explained. Um, and the, the bad guy, so to speak, the Madam Addison, she is rarely, like she should be the thing that's scaring the crap out of you. And she's rarely pulled out. And when she is, it's to very limited effect. So this movie really just felt like you know, like maybe your final project for school or something. I don't know. It just it was not great, but somehow I found myself enjoying it. So if you're looking for something that's just kind of a goof and not really something that you're ever going to take seriously or probably ever watch again unless it's, you know, to have a drinking game with your friends, I, I wouldn't, you know, just go watch it. It's fine. I wouldn't say no to it. I'd say, yeah, okay, it's fine. Um, and having said that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it a, a 1.75 if we're going to go ahead and, and break it into fractions because it doesn't quite deserve a 2, but it's, it's, it's better than a 1. So we're going to go 1.75. Um, acting a little stiff. Direction... Like, was there any? I don't even know. Story so thin and just implausible. In, in a way that, like, in, in I, Supernatural movies, some of my favorite stuff, I love them. And I can get really sucked into them. But there's got to be detail there. There's got to be a story that I'm trying to learn more about. And this whole, in this whole movie, you don't really learn anything. Everything that happened in the first 10 minutes of the movie is all the information that you get about what's going on here. Um, and I'm not even, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Go watch the movie. I didn't really spoil anything for you because like I said, everything that I've said pretty much happened in the first few minutes of the movie, except for, you know, the second family that moves in. Um, Guys, I had a good time watching this movie. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it. If you hated it, do you like what I said about it? Do you disagree with it? Let me know. We will see you again next week. I have been doing a ton of reading and watching videos and listening and trying my best to learn and grow through this entire uh, situation of civil unrest that we find ourselves in. And I think that the best thing that I can contribute is to try to think about and explore different ways that we can move forward from here, right? Because we can't keep going back to the status quo. Policing in this country is out of control and it is widely, wildly, wildly racist the entire justice system. It has to be rethought. And so I'm going to do some rethinking about it and see what smarter people than me are saying and then talk about it with you guys. So look forward to that. 
And we will see you again next week for another shitty horror, mo horror movie review. That is a hard thing to say, y'all. I want you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Hit all my buttons, and we'll see you next time. Bye.